All right, hello everyone. We're here today with Tom Headley, the creator and writer of one of the most successful films of the 1980s, a film that many of us grew up with, Flashdance. Um, while Flashdance was created roughly 35 years ago, it has evolved into a musical, and the musical is currently on tour in Italy. So uh, we, have, we have Mr. Headley here today to talk about how it has evolved into a musical, how it made its way to Italy, and to talk about the, um, the actual musical and, and the production that's, that's coming up. Uh, but first, Tom, can, can you talk to us about how you created Flashdance? How you came up with the idea for Flashdance? Uh, well, um, I had a friend who was a Mohawk Indian painter and teacher of art in Toronto. And uh, he came across, he had models who were life models who said, please join me at this, I guess we'd call it a bar, it wasn't a bar, it was, it was, it was, yeah, it was, a, it was a bar restaurant kind of thing. And uh, there was a, a, a group of girls who did, um, who, who did a kind of burlesque parody. And uh, they had funny names like Gina, Gina the Sex Machina, uh, uh, one, one was a, a bodybuilder who called herself Muscles Marinara. And um, it was the send-up of, of, of burlesque, but it was at the time of MTV. MTV had, was about to break and go national in America. And uh, what they, were trying, they, they were doing living videos. Uh, they, they did their own music, or they put it together. Um, they designed their own costumes, and it was there's something. It was modest. It was a kind of lovely modesty and innocence to it because of the parents, the, either the aunt or the mother would come in and help them with their costumes and do the makeup, and it was charming. It was before uh, the advent of pornography when, when pornography took over a lot of these cl strip clubs, mm -hmm. and it was more of like a, a neighborhood community mo moment. It wasn't. There was nothing licentious about it. Right. And, and then your protagonist, she she was uh, yeah. she worked at a strip club. Is that correct? Well, she it, it was yeah they were called strip club. It was just a club, uh, and but she was also my character uh, was uh, basically a, a, a it was the concept of a blue collar worker who had a dream of being a dancer but never had a chance of of ever doing it because she was from a neighborhood. She worked in the steel mill. And I knew a couple of girls who did that. I mean, they they were uh, I, I admired them because they had to be so much. They had to be as at least as good as the guys because the guys, you know, really went after them. So they were strong and fascinating, mm -hmm. and uh, I put the the dance element together with them. And then I, I thought this is a, a lovely mix. So I had a girlfriend at the time who was a. Uh, masters of uh, you know a very serious rather earnest uh, girl who, who believed that being a, uh, a, a, an actor was like being a philosopher she was just way over the top but she 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 wouldn't work she wouldn't uh, you know we needed to pay the rent that we were just kids and ultimately she came back and she only got a job and it was as a fire alarm installer and she had walkie-talkies and you know great outfit and she she was really good at that and then she would change her dance class and so it was a mixture the style was a mixture of industrial drag worker drag and dancer drag mm. and then that so the look of flash dance came from that mm. you know I would watch her change and rush off to dance class mm. and she had a style that I'd never seen before oh. and that's how the style I chose the name flash dance because I wanted a complete aesthetic a complete style that could be recognizable, and it's the moment in a flash when you see fashion, dance, and music come together in a single image. Mm. And Flash Dance was was an amazing success, though, isn't that yes, correct? Yes, it was. In the it 80s wasn't and all around the world. All around the world, yeah. It started. We didn't know. Um, it 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 didn't do it, it, the opening weekend. You know, in seventy two hours, whether or not you have a hit. And it was very soft in the South, the, the, because there was prejudice against it in the South. But when the black audience picked up on it, it just took it, up, oh, took, took it to a whole other level. Mm. And so it was a success. For, it was the number three movie of the year. 
Mm. Um, now, but how did it evolve over three decades later to a musical? Well, uh, they'd been after me for a long time, A, to do a sequel, and, and I didn't want to do that because it was too fragile a piece. And it wouldn't have worked. It would have been very corny, I'd like to think. Uh, and I, I resisted the theater because it's a different art form, and it's not one I'm trained in. But ultimately, it became clear I, I, I should do it. And it, so we did. We, we started off and put it, on to, you know, put it on the road, looked at it, and built it into, into what it is today. And... At some point, it went to Italy. How did it? How did it get to Italy? In it, it went to Milan to the National Theater. Uh, they wanted it very much to do, and you know there is that style, Italian style, the uh, commedia dell'arte style, which is very operatic or a lot of physical humor. So I didn't really know how it would work that way. But I went to the opening. It was it, it was just terrific. Mm. Uh, the, the Italian production is one of my favorite productions, and it's all going all over the world now. Hmm. Yeah, I just came back from Hamburg in Germany where it opens and going to Berlin and it's going to open in Madrid and, hmm. and, and it's got a, a, a long tour uh, in Italy, hmm. many cities. Uh, was it successful when it, uh, when it was in, in Milan? Milan? Yes, it was, it was a huge success. Huh. Um, and, and you will be in Florence, the musical is just yes. performing in Florence November 16th, 17th and 18th I believe, yeah, yeah. next month. Yeah. Okay, and, uh, and by the way, I'm going to be there. Tom Headley is going to be there. Um, we're very excited about that. It's, it's playing at Teatro Verdi, which is on Via Ghibellina, right in the center of Florence. Uh, tickets are, are available if you go to um, the Teatro Verdi website. Um, but how did it get to Florence? Is, it, is Florence the second it, it, Italian city? Will, they be, will, yeah, will it, there be more Italian cities? It goes to Bologna, to Verona, to... Many, many cities, and ultimately ends up in Rome. Mm. Um, but it's a you know it's a two year tour, and it's eighteen months tour. And so it goes to you can look it up. Uh, Stage Entertainment are the producers, and their their main office is in Milan, and I think they have a complete schedule of cities and, and dates. And I understand Flashdance was not only a big hit in the United States, but Italy as well. Why is it why is it important uh, to you that Flash Chance is on tour in Italy right now? Well, for a number of things, I love Italy. I mean, as a filmmaker, I'm inspired most by uh, the, the, the cinema. You know, the, the cinema was the Italian neo neo realistic cinema is among the best in the world, and that inspired me a lot. And also, I had a girlfriend there. Oh. <laughs> I did, but it didn't matter. But there was a song called Gloria, which was written, um, f written in Italy, and we had it translated. It was a number one hit in Italy, and so one of the most important songs in the entire production originated in Italy, mm. and had an Italian audience before and a, the world audience. Oh, excellent, excellent. Okay, well, well, thank you. Um, we're, we're very excited. I'm excited to to uh, to see Flashdance the musical. Um, Please check it out. If any of you are in Florence during this time, you can get tickets or you want to travel to Florence. Um, you know, stay in touch with, with the schedule. Uh, you can see that online. But if you are going to go to the show in Florence, let me know. Send me an email. Maybe we can arrange a meet and greet uh, so we can... Uh, we, we certainly can. can. I'd love to meet you guys. So. Yeah, so we can, meet, uh, we can meet Tom Headley. So thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully we'll see you next month. Ciao. Very good.